A COVID-19 patient who spent months recovering at St. Luke's in Kansas City returned to the hospital today, this time healthier, happier, and hoping to thank the medical staff who saved his life. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz was there for the reunion you'll only see right here on KCTV5. The last time Jay Martinez roamed these halls, his lungs were barely getting enough oxygen. So when I can't catch my breath, there's a problem. After returning home to Springfield from a family trip, the 42-year-old trained trumpeteer knew something was wrong. An ambulance took him to the nearest hospital where he tested positive for COVID-19. Doctors feared he wouldn't make it through the night. When he did, they decided his best shot was to get to St. Luke's in Kansas City. He spent 51 days here battling COVID and returned a year later with one message for the staff. You guys have saved our family. And I'm so thankful for that. We just wanted to bring you cookies and say, hey, thanks for not letting us crumble. These frontline heroes recognized him right away. I remember the room he was in. I remember the pictures of his kids on the wall, the Bible verses his family came in, the music that would play. Um, like I said, I have a young family, so a lot of times you see yourself and the people you're taking care of. To actually know that they actually remembered me was unbelievable. In the past year, Jay has taught his kids how to ride bikes and was there for his daughter's first soccer practice. And she was scared. And there's something about when daddy talked that talk of like, let's go be courageous. Even if you've never done a practice, just go play. You've got this, right? Like mom could have done that, but there's something when dad does that. While reminiscing on the special moments, Jay walked to the room where he almost lost his life. He reflected on what could have happened and the time he nearly lost. This comprehension of understanding that it took this whole team for me to have this conversation with you. While the cookies were a sweet treat, the real gift for this staff is seeing the quality of life Jay will get to have with his family. Reporting in Kansas City, Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. And to this day, Jay is battling some long haul symptoms like fatigue, but says he owes his quality of life to the healthcare workers involved in his recovery.